Yes, Glenda, the family is devastated. That's the family of Raynard Burton. I did talk to one of his sisters. She said they're not up to talking right now. They're just grieving his loss. And it is protocol that the officer involved be off duty for now as he has to be evaluated by a psychologist. The young man shot and killed in a reported struggle with a Detroit police officer is 19-year-old Raynard Burton. One question now is why did he run from police after they spotted him speeding in this green Pontiac Bonneville? According to state records, he does not have a valid driver's license, but we're told there were no warrants out for his arrest. Certainly our heart and prayers, as always, goes out to the family. Anytime an officer has to use deadly force, it's always a tragedy. We're told the officer who shot and killed Burton during that reported struggle has been with Detroit police for 22 years. Yesterday afternoon, he and his partner spotted the green Pontiac speeding on Broad Street near Elmhurst on Detroit's west side. They activated their lights to make a traffic stop, and that's when Burton suddenly crashed into a pole. Detroit police say he bolted from the car, and after a short foot chase, he and the officer wound up in the backyard of a vacant house on Webb Street, where police say Burton Burton was shot and killed after grabbing for the officer's gun. This afternoon, Chief James Craig appeared on our noon segment, Connect with the Chief. The investigation is still very early, uh, so we're still canvassing the area, we're talking to witnesses. Uh, we have evidence, so we'll just see which direction it takes us. And the veteran officer was not wearing a body cam because they are not yet in use in the 10th precinct. And I'm told 19-year-old Raynard Burton does have a juvenile history of domestic assault and battery, but no known felony arrests. Reporting live, Kimberly Craig, 7 Action News. All right.